What's up, everybody? It's Vin Dog in the house from inside the kennel right here on Podbean.com, a Money Bin production. Now, a lot of things have been disturbing my brain and my heart for the past couple of days. As a matter of fact, for the past week. For Kamala Harris, not doing her job as a vice president, making sure the president does his job. Well, of course, he is the president installed. But check this out. She is in California trying to campaign for Gavin Newsom. That shows me that the Democrats have used her as the ultimate pawn to take care of her buddy Gavin Newsom. And Gavin Newsom, indeed, is a totalitarian governor of California, and he has been the worst governor in American history. Thank you very, very much. He is King Newsom, Emperor Newsom, whatever you want to call him. I can call him some words that I won't even say in front of my mother, so I won't say them in front of you right now. But I want to get to this story about a child in Las Vegas, Nevada, telling his mom that a teacher, a substitute of sorts, at an elementary school, this kid is nine years old, tape was put on his face mask because he wore the face mask in the wrong manner. Well, well, well. What do we have here, folks? That is what I call child abuse. And I'll say it again, child abuse. I'm going to let this video roll, and then I'm going to come back and give my thoughts on what really should happen to this substitute teacher. The mom of a local nine-year-old boy is demanding his substitute teacher be fired after she says that a teacher taped a face mask to her son's face when he did not wear it properly in the classroom. She spoke to us under the condition that we not use her name or show her face, worried her son could be further traumatized at school, but wanting other parents to know what is happening in one fourth grade classroom. I, I was furious, furious. I was. I was scared for my son on what kind of like long-term effect it's going to have on him socially. Uh, the fact that the entire class was laughing. This mom of a fourth grade student at Reedham Elementary in Mountain's Edge says his substitute teacher stepped way over the line when the nine-year-old failed to properly wear his mask in class. He went to get a sip of water, forgot to put the mask on, teacher then did not tell him to put it back on or send him to the office. She instead pulled him up in the front of the classroom in front of all of the students, and she then taped the mask across the top of his face. The mom says the sub added a second layer of tape from his nose to his forehead, and with tape still on his face, he went to the office to pick up homework he'd forgotten at home and his dad dropped off. When he went to the office to pick up that homework is when one of the administrators noticed the tape on his face. Alarmed, that administrator took the tape off of the child and alerted the principal who went to the classroom to investigate, filling out this report. And she saw another student who she thought was my son with tape on their face as well. This mom later asked her son had other students also had their masks taped to their face. He said yes. It's been happening in his classroom since the beginning of the school year. He says that he remembers up to five. This mom says it is not a political issue. She has no problem with the mask mandate, but says nine-year-olds like her son are often forgetful and should never be punished, purposefully embarrassed in this way. He was very upset. He was crying. He was humiliated. Fox 5 questioned the school district about this incident. They responded, quote, the district is aware of the isolated incident and is dealing with the employee through the proper channels. The principal proactively notified the family of the investigation. But that's not good enough for this mom. I don't think this woman has any business teaching children, for one. Number two, I think Parents need to know what's going on in the classrooms. It's, it's crazy. Um, corporal punishment in schools should not be happening. And the mom also filed a police report about the teacher putting her hands on the student. She's also now looking at changing schools or possibly moving to a charter school. Was that video disturbing or what? It was very disturbing to me. And I did not like it one bit. You know what happens when you do that to children? 
and I find out about it, you have declared war because you are endangering our children. You're punking them because you're such a bully and you know you can't get away with bullying other adults that way. But when you bully children, Vin Dog's coming in like a pit bull and he's going to maul you and throw you to the dog pile. And you don't want none of me when it comes to messing with the kids. Don't mess with the kids. Vin Dog doesn't like it when you mess with the kids. Because you'll be in trouble. Guaranteed. Parents, don't let people do this to your children. And if you find out, you better start to do something about it. Take a stand against these people. Because if I ever catch an adult doing that to a child, I'm going to go upside their head. Yes, I said it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to find me on the socials, you can add me on Twitterverse at Vindog Radio, on IG at Vindog Radio, at Getter on Vindog Radio. Yes, indeed, Parler Vindog Radio. All the socials, Vindog Radio. And you can tell it's officially me because it will have the USA after most of them, if not all of them. God bless you. Take care of each other. And remember, if you mess with the kids, you mess with Vin Dog, and I will go upside your head. Take care. God bless.